hello welcome to tech german in our last session we discussed like how we can create multiple modules and uh, using those module we create one program and then we you uh, use that program to call that so if you remember like how we create the program so for creating the program we use this command crt pgm then we take a four and here we pass the program name on uh, that we want to give to the new program and then after you have to specify your library name and here we have to pass the main module or entry module and then it's library and after that you have to put the other remaining library modules here so i'm pa passing mod one which also resides in shermit one mod two and it is also in shermit one and then we hit enter so once we hit this command it creates our program mods so now we will see one command through which we can uh, see the information of the program that we have created so let's uh, see what is this uh, that command so for that you have to use the command dsp pgm and then you can take f4 and here we can pass that program name so i have passed shermit1 library uh, and my program name is mods so once you hit enter on this command it will show you the information regarding the in a uh, program so here you can see that like when this program was created so it shows the date uh, time type of program that i have created it and um, at this time and on this date and the type of my program is ile my program entry module is this okay and some other information like user profile and other options so you can take f uh, f 10 or page down uh, you can take page down to show the other options as well okay so after that you can hit enter to go to the next information page so here it will show you the uh, size of the program number of modules attached with it so if you remember like we have attached three modules so it shows that and how maximum could be this number of service programs so by default whatever the information it takes it auxiliary storage information and then you can hit enter again for the third page here it will show the all module that we have included for this program so these are the main procedure module then other two modules which resides in this info uh, library type attribute type is this creation date optimization level debug if you enter again then it shows some other information so there are multiple screen which shows the overall all the information related to the modules so here you can see see that signature part so what is this signature how it works that we will see in the upcoming session when we create the service program and we learn about the binder language then we will see like how the signature program works hit enter again it will show other activation group related exports here then imports here and then copyright information so these all information we can uh, see through the program uh, through the command dsp pgm so let's see what will happen like if i use this command on my module one so dsp pgm then you can put mod one which resides in library one shermit one hit enter so it shows program let me check the mod one library shermit one so it shows it doesn't found in this big why because this is not a program so if i check the work object command work obj and then take a phone here you can part the, uh, pass the mod one which resides in shermit one so it shows it is a module and if we check the same command for my mod program work obj and here we will check for mods so this is the program so here the type is program so we for uh, for using the, like you can use the dsp pgm command only for the program not for the modules so that's why i that's why i show you how we can use this command 
to see the information uh, let's say suppose right now we are using only three module but it might be possible we attach multiple uh, five module or six modules in a program then you need to do then you need to find out the information like what all modules we have incorporated in that program so in that scenario you can use uh, easily use this command dsp pgm to see the information okay so uh, this is very useful command like uh, while uh, when you will learn about the binder language and other information uh, then you will be able to uh, un understand about this command more like how signature information is useful for us okay so for now basically we see like how we can use the dsp pgm command to see like what all modules are incorporated in that program okay so for using that you have to hit that command only on the program or the object which has type as pgm not a module one like we see here with this mod one but it doesn't show any output because this is not a program this is a module so to use the dsp pgm command the object type should be pgm star pgm okay so yeah that's it for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture